Hello all and welcome to the new channel. This is at the start of a reading vlog. I was gonna say weekly reading vlog, but I'm not sure. It depends on how much reading I get done. It is uh, Valentine's Day, the day that we launched this new channel. And I thought I would kick it off by starting to film a reading vlog. There will probably be a video up between the announcement video and this video if all goes to plan, but you know, when does anything go to plan in our lives? So we'll see. Um, it's currently Black History Month, and that means it's currently Blackathon, which is a readathon run by Jessie from Bowties and Books. And I'm forgetting the other host's name. I've only finished like two or three of the challenges so far. I haven't been reading a lot at all this month as compared to January. I read so much in January. I guess I just like burned myself out and definitely burned my eyes out. My eyes have been the real problem, not like my brain. Like I could focus on the reading if I could look at it. <laughs> But I haven't been able to because my eyes are just so dry. It's so cold here and my heat is like forced hot air so it gets so dry in my apartment. But anyway, so far I finished a few things and maybe I will tell you about them tomorrow. But it is currently like 9pm. I don't know where my phone is. It's like 9pm on Valentine's Day and we launched this channel and I went out and had a lovely little thing with my mom. You know, as you do on Valentine's Day. And I'm very tired and have a headache, so I'm not gonna get into that today. Maybe tomorrow. However, I will tell you what I'm currently reading because, after all, this is a reading vlog. So, first of all, I'm about halfway through whoop, Falling in Love with Hominids by Nello Hopkinson. This is amazing so far. It's my first one by her. And I don't know what I was expecting exactly, but it's blowing me away like actually just astounding it's so good some of the stories are just so creepy and will definitely stick with me for a while so but anyway I'm renting it from my library right now through the app and I'm definitely wanting to get my hands on a physical copy soon so we'll see but halfway through so far loving it will probably be picking up more of her work and we'll definitely be picking up more work of hers in the future and then also I'm reading Denez Smith's new poem collection, which is incredible so far. I'm only like 40 pages into it, uh, not even, like 35 pages into it, and uh, I loved their first collection so much, and this one is just like, just hurts. <laughs> because you know, that's, that's the climate we live in, the world we live in right now, is it hurts. So that's the only two things I'm currently reading right now, which is rare for me. Normally I'm currently reading more. I'm probably going to start something else tonight because both of these things are more like bits and pieces at a time things. Like I'll read a short story here and there or a few poems and then I need to process the poem so I can't read too many at the same time. But um, so I kind of want to try and get some reading done tonight, like actual like sit down and read. And I have a few choices, but I don't know what I'm going to pick from. I just picked up The Deep by River Solomon, and I really want to read that, but I don't know if I'm, like, emotionally prepared enough. So I might try something lighter to, like, get me back into the mood, because my eyes are feeling a little better. Every day I've been doing, like, warm compresses and eye drops, and it's been a lot, but they're finally getting better. I can no longer, like, hear myself blink every time I blink, which is always fun. So I think that's my first update. You'll have to forgive me, I'm a little rusty at this, but hopefully it will get better as we go on. Hi, so it's the next day. You are precariously on a stack of books, of course, because the tripod doesn't quite work with where I'm sitting, so I don't like that the mirror is in the background. It just seems like you can almost see me and that seems creepy. I don't know why. Anyway, so last night, I haven't done really any reading today besides a few more poems and homey and I read a few more poems last night and this is still amazing. I also started Slay and this cover like the I, I don't know where the dust jacket is but like the actual cover is gorgeous but like also under the dust jacket is also gorgeous and I don't think I've seen anyone show this off but it's really cool it's like I think it's supposed to be like pixels because it's like a video game style thing. Anyway I read the first chapter which was very long, but very, very good. So excited to read more of this one. It's been a weird day so far. I'll 
probably not finish any of this tonight. I'm probably gonna get a little further, just chip away at stuff. That's kind of how I end up reading. I'm normally reading multiple things at the same time and like chipping away at them. But it's, uh, it's almost 10 o'clock at night and I'm about to settle in and try and chill before going to bed. So I'm gonna try and read a few more poems. Maybe a few more chapters of Slay, short story, it just depends how I feel. I've got my tea and I am, oh, and my eye drops because, you know, eyes are struggling this winter. But I think that's my plan. Hi. I haven't filmed anything for this vlog in a few days and no I did not get a dog but we've been watching her for the last few days and she's very good look at what is this <gasps> what's that <laughs> she's very cuddly so <laughs> I don't like the camera so I'll update you more in the next talking clip about what I've been up to and what I've been reading but I thought everyone would want to see this little girl Huh. What is that? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's going on? Why are you winking? Okay, hello. It is uh, Saturday, the same day that I filmed the previous clip of me with Divya, who is the tiny puppy. So, I haven't updated you in a while. I thought it hadn't been in over a week, but I actually, I did film a clip on Tuesday that I forgot about, so it's only been that. And I talked about finishing Homie and Slay, which you have just seen. I don't know why I'm reiterating this for you. It's to remind myself. Um, but since then, I finished one book. Uh, I read uh, Tough Guy by Rachel Reed. It's uh, a male-male hockey romance because that's just sometimes what your brain needs just to like shut off. I accidentally read it all in like one sitting. It was um, surprisingly very cute and also had a lot of aspects I really liked in it. It's about um, a defenseman and enforcer in the NHL who is just traded to a new city and apparently he's been uh, just like tossed around in a bunch of different, he's played for a bunch of different teams and um, he meets someone that he knew in juniors, but who is not a hockey person, and I actually really liked that. I thought it was really interesting, and I really liked Fabian, his like love interest, our other main character. Um, he was just really great. I don't know what else to say about this one. It's just like a cute, sweet, not sweet. There's definitely like angstier stuff happening than I expected to. Um, and also, our main character is like a six foot four, 240 pound, like giant bearded man and is terrified of flying and has really bad like anxiety issues and he takes medication for it. And I just really appreciated that. It was just really, it was just really well done and everything. And he's just like a little cinnamon roll, which is what, you know, I want in romance characters, I guess. I've gotten a little further in this, which I bought a physical copy of for myself because I was loving it so much. I got that much further in it because um, I'm enjoying it so much I kind of don't want to read more of it because I want there to always be more and it's actually quite a short collection. I started A Blade So Black by L.L. McKinney and I haven't taken the dust jacket off it yet so you know I'm not very far. I'm only like 20 pages into this. I listened to the first little bit on audio as I was doing something else. And I'm really liking it so far. I really like Alice retellings. It's giving me a uh, major vibes of a one TV movie from sci-fi that just called like Alice. It was from like 2009. It's just giving me like major those vibes so far. And I'm not sure why. It might just because it's been on my mind recently and it's like probably my favorite Alice adaptation. Or it might just be that like I'm 20 pages into this book and I'm already shipping are Alice and Hatter characters, so like, it's making me think of that movie, but <laughs> that's what it's making me think of so far. People have mentioned like that the time jump at the very beginning 
was uh, confusing or surprising to them and I didn't really think it was. There's, It's like a prologue and then there's like a three month or whatever time jump. And I kind of like appreciated that so that we like, get like their first meeting but also then we don't have to go through like the... There's no, there's no montage. We skip the training montage and just go right to like, let's get into some stuff. So we'll see how that goes. Overall, I'm gonna try and get some reading done this weekend and then I'm gonna end this vlog after this weekend because it's going on much longer than I intended it to. Brie and I are doing kind of like a mini readathon this weekend of just like today and tomorrow, just the actual weekend. Just because she has time off and I also have some free time so we're gonna see what we can do. Um, and it's also the end of the month and we both have a lot of reading still we want to get done before the month is over. I didn't realize exactly how many books I had that I wanted to try and read this month until I put them all into a stack at the end of last month. So, And I've barely made a dent in that stack so I'm going to try and read some more. I bought uh, a physical copy of another of Denez Smith's poetry collections, the one I didn't have. I think it's called Black Movie. I want to try and read that too. And then I'm probably going to listen to an audiobook. I have some cleaning to do. I'm having uh, guests. Uh, apartment guest next weekend at least one for sure we'll see about the other one but hope I am at the end of the month gonna do a blackathon wrap-up and tell you which books fit into which of the reading challenges I'm not sure I'm gonna complete all of them just because I've been a little sporadic I don't know why the jazz hands happened whatever we can get done this week um I think that's it I'll see you in like two seconds to you probably several hours for me so I never officially finished wrapping this up. Um, it turned out that that weekend readathon we had planned did not go super well for me. I only read like probably 20 pages if even that. Um, Divya is back with her mom. She's uh, She had an eye problem and like an eye infection-y thing. Um, but she has medicine now in a tiny tiny cone and uh, is back with her actual owner. <laughs> Sadly, she is not mine, although hopefully we will see her again soon because she's very, very sweet. Uh, I have Leah's here with me right now. Please ignore the mess in the giant pile of books in the background. Uh -oh. The first time I tried to climb this, I tried to climb, I tried to film this clip, she crawled directly into my lap and then kissed me for 30 seconds, so now she's got a ball and she's happy. Um, so anyway, I finished three things, started three more. Because that's kind of how I read. I read very like this and that and that and there's I'm not a one book start finish kind of person although I really wish I was. I feel like that would make everything more simpler. More simpler. That's where we're at today. Uh, anyway the first thing I finished was Homie by Dina Smith which was a poetry collection um, which was amazing and I highly recommend. I mentioned it before but I highly recommend you check them out and their spoken word. I'll, I'll, like I said earlier I'll put links in the description. And then Slay by Brittany Morris, which was so good, so much fun, so like, it felt very real, is I think, overall, what I want to say about it is that it felt very real. Third, I read Tough Guy by Rachel Reed, which was a male-male hockey romance, which was a lot of, it was just really cute and really, really good, and um, actually the hockey player that we're following is not in the closet. He was more quietly out, like he wasn't super public about it but he seemed like he wasn't super public about anything so it kind of fit him. I'm still currently reading Falling in Love with Hominids by Nella Hopkinson. I'm like 150 pages into it now out of like 220 and it's amazing. Every story in there is just incredible. I can't say enough good things about it. It's like every story blows my mind which is why it's taking me so long to read because I have to like stop and process the stories before I can like read the next one. I also started Black Movie by Denez Smith. It's one I didn't realize I didn't own or hadn't read yet. And it has uh, the poem Dinosaurs in the Hood in it, which is one of my favorite of theirs. Which is one of the ones I'm going to link down below because watching it live is amazing. There's a dog coming over to me. Hello? Did you get the other ball? Is that what you did? Oh, hello. Please ignore all of the clothes and nonsense and Goodreads open so I can remember what's happening. Um... But I think that's all of my updates for now. I hope you're having a great day and a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Life before death, Radiance. Ripley also says goodbye. But anyway, yes, I know I'm talking. Um, anyway. <laughs>
Thank you. Anyway, excuse me. Not, the, not everything has to be about you. Can you lay down? Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry for the tail wagging you can hear in the background. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do it like this because she needs attention. Tell me by Denise Mist, which was an amazing poetry collection, and we're just gonna start this whole clip over. Again.